Hi, Jesse here with GPS City. I'm going to show you how to properly create a route for sending over to your Garmin GPS so it doesn't recalculate when you put it in the device. First thing you need to do is make sure you're in direct mode, not trucking, bicycling, automotive, or any other mode. That's going to draw straight lines between points. Then we're going to need to draw our routes. We'll use the route tool, which is this three green dots connected by line. Do not use the create route tool you see over here. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick an area and we're going to create a route. And you have to click on every turn that you want to make. So I'm going to click, we'll go from say the middle of this field to this road. And when you transfer this over to your Zumo or your Garmin handheld, you're going to need to make sure that it's in direct mode also. So it doesn't uh, recalculate on you. Direct mode in the units is also known as off-road. Okay, so after creating that route, if I created the route using the Create Route tool or any other way, it would have followed this road down here and then up to there, not this long trip around. Because I clicked on every corner, it's going to follow my route and not try to create its own. So let's send this over to the unit and see how it looks on the unit. We'll use a Montana for this example. Okay, now that our route is in the unit, we need to go into our settings and make sure that we're set to direct routing on the unit. So we'll go into Setup. We're going to page down to routing. Inside routing, we're going to go into activity and we're going to set this to direct routing. Now we're going to take a look at the track that we uploaded to the unit. So what we're going to need to do is look for our trip planner. Route planner right there. Inside route planner, the one I'm looking at is the 007 one. So we'll go into 007 and what we want to do is view it on map. As you can see, it's exactly the same as you saw it on the Mac, so we don't need to do anything to it. It's going to guide us through these points the way we created them, even if there's no road maps underneath, just because we're doing direct routing. If we had auto routing, that's going to be different because it may want to auto route based on the roads that we have in there. So on your computer, make sure you're set to direct routing, and on your unit, make sure you're set to direct routing, and you should be fine creating your own custom route and not having the unit recreate it for you.